Hey, welcome back to Out the Smoke. I'm Malcolm Reed. Got Mark Williams here with me as always. Mark, what kind of experiment you got going on today, man? <laughs> We're out the smoke. We're in the steam. I see we got a pot of water. It's boiling. We've got all the thermometers out. We're doing some testing. Yeah, so we're going to check thermometers. That's the biggest thing. You know, a lot of people say, hey, I'm cooking ribs. Usually it's a four hour cook. I'm at six hours now. What's going on? And 90% of the time, it's the thermometer's not reading right. You know, they're either lower or hotter than what they think they are. And, and it goes for your grill or for your instant reads, even for your wired probe thermometers. It's always a good idea, periodically, just to check them. There's two ways to do it. Boil a pot of water. Boil a pot of water and put them in put some them ice. In ice bath. That's going to give you the most accurate readings. So whenever we're cooking, we're always cooking to certain temperatures. We don't want to get anybody sick. We want to nail the perfect doneness. That's what having a good thermometer lets you do. So Mark, which ones are we going to check today and show people how we're going to check them? So we got a Thermalworks dot. That's going to be kind of our control. You know, me and you both use the dot a ton. That's our go-to. We know it's accurate. And right now we're boiling. It says 211. Water boils at 212. And I think we're at like 500 foot elevation. I don't know how much that plays a count in it, but I do know the higher you go, the low water a bowl. I also have some handheld thermometers. We've got one from Grill Great here. It's just a basic swing open probe thermometer. We stick it in this water, it ought to go close to 212. We'll put it in and just see what it does, Mark. Immediately we're 211.3. What is the dot reading? Are we close? 211. So I know this thermometer is calibrated at the boiling water temp. Now, I want to let it cool off just a little bit. You can also verify it with ice cold water. So I filled this little measuring cup up with ice, put some water in it just to kind of make an ice bath. And I'm going to put this probe in here and immediately it should go down close to 32 degrees. Right away it's reading 33.8, steady dropping. Now this one takes a little bit of time to react. It's not super fast. But we're at 33.3 in the ice bath. That's probably about as cold to freezing as I can get it. So I would say this thermometer is calibrated. I feel safe within a degree or so of using it to cook some meat. So what else are we testing, Mark? So we got a couple of dial thermometers, just like you'd have on your pit. This is a true tail. That's a name everybody knows to be one of the most accurate dial thermometers. So we're going to see if it lives up to it. And this one's brand new out of the box. And I always recommend if you get a new grill, check that thermometer. You can take most of them out of, out of the grill. You can unscrew them. They're threaded pull them out, put them in some boiling water or ice bath, and just see what they do. Now, that doesn't read as fine a temp on a dial, but we should be up close to 210. You ought to be able to see about that. So that's 210 right there, just a hair over it. That's dead money. Dead money, it's still reading. We're yep. 211, 212 on the dot. Now we also have one. <laughs> this is one we said, bring up the worst thermometer you got. We wanna check them, because even if you've been using it a while, you see all these thermometers, they get corroded over. I'm gonna drop it down in the hot water. I so this old thermometer, it's kicking, but man, it's struggling. That one's been wrapped around a few times. Yeah, I would say it's been pegged out. Cause I've had this in here for probably, you know, a good 45 seconds. Have you got to 100? I haven't even broke 50 yet. And I know the water <laughs> is boiling. It's trash, it's no good anymore. And I just wanted to show that so you would know. If you get one that's been acting crazy, it's not reading right, kind of jumps around, it's time to replace those. Definitely. Get you a new one and make sure it's calibrated. So we got old trusty thermal pin, my pink one. That's we're, the one we see in the video, that's right? That's it. We're going to go straight to the ice first. We're going to see what it does. Now, to me, thermal pin is probably the most reliable. 32 fast. already. I mean, it jumped to 32. That's what you want it to be. That's perfect. We're going to shock it. Now it should jump right up to 212. How 212. Fast? That fast. That's why they call them super fast thermopans. That's my baby right there. That's the one. So we know that thermometer is good to go. Uh, the important thing to take away is know how to test your thermometers, compare them. Boil some water, make an ice bath, whatever you want to do, just check those temperatures and make sure that your instruments you're using are reading correctly. If not, swap them out. That's that easy. It. Hey, appreciate y'all hanging out with us today here at Out the Smoke. If you got any ideas or questions you want to see us do, hop over on Facebook, send us a message. We'll be glad to talk about those here in the videos. Mark, where can they find you, man? Y'all can find us at Swine Life BBQ on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Like always, you know, if y'all got any questions, let us know. Hey, and I'm over at How to Barbecue Right. If y'all want to see some good recipes, jump on over there and visit. We'll see y'all next time.